Is anyone having more fun than AJ Prowler? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's like every kid's dream, right? Yeah. You're trading baseball cards with your buddies, and you're like, man, I wish to, I, I would love to be a GM. I'd trade for this player and that player and sign this player. That's what he's doing right now. It's crazy. Joe Musgrove, I like the fact that he said it mattered. It wasn't the, the end-all, be-all of making this deal come together. But Joe Musgrove, being a local kid, you want to you wanna know that a player is going to be thrilled to go to a market, and when you know he's from the area, that should have some sort of impact. I think you always look for those little additives, right? So yes, all, so the things align on so many different levels, and oh yeah, he's a native guy. Oh yeah, he's from the area. Oh, the Padres are his favorite team. Yes. So you know that when he comes over, because sometimes, Greg, a guy gets traded to a place, and they're not happy. They don't want to be there. And they're human beings, this they're not guy, robots. This guy <laughs> called a private jet and said, get me to San Diego as soon as possible. Yeah. And now, I don't want fans to go, okay, Joe Musgrove, I'm looking at his baseball reference page, and he hasn't won a ton of games, outlier. I don't get this. Why are you so excited? If you look into the swing and miss, I don't know what happened last year. Maybe you could break it down for us, but K per nine over 12. Yeah. He figured something out, didn't he? Yeah, went from 8 to 12, one of the biggest increases in swing and miss. Uh, he, had a, he had a mechanical change. Greg and uh, look I think for now a few years that we've been looking at Joe Musgrove and saying yeah we see it in there he's a he's a low occasionally mid 90s guy but I love the way he spins it and I think really there's a couple things that I think stand out and AJ Preller and his scouts watch closely this is a legit breaking ball guys I mean it's big it's got the 12 to 6 he throws it hard I mean it has all of the shape and makings of what where we are in Major League Baseball he complements it with this pitch right here this is his number one go to uh, out pitch his slider so he's got fastball in the low to mid 90s and there was some erratic at times where you get caught in this day and age with the uh, with the home run ball but when I look at what he's done you have a guy that is able to uh, throw with two different breaking balls but here if you look at 19 and then 20 the biggest thing I want to show if I and this a quick rip is on the back side of his delivery now watch here on the left this is tr traditional long arm thigh to the sky he's a little bit longer I want to capture that he doesn't go as long and I know we're talking about at this network and a lot of other guys Lucas Giolito and others what what did it do for him? Well, you know what, guys? I know it's a short sample from last year with the 30 innings, uh, the eight starts. But if this is something where the light bulb went on, a la Lucas Giolito, did A.J. Preller and the Padres find something for a guy that's 28 years old? And, Greg, you're right. He's a four-something ERA. Mm -hmm. But I'd love to be able to get a breakdown on it. But the long, you know, when I was a kid and when we were younger, it was thigh to the sky, be long on the backside. Well, there's a lot of things that can go wrong with that with respect to getting in your release position. By being shorter, put him in a better position. Therefore, things are crisper, the breaking ball sharper, everything's out front. So it made him a little bit more on time, and that might have been the difference. And you know, Dave, put your, uh, use your catcher's eye here. You like how this guy looks on the mound. Wide back, athletic, long limbs, right? You like what you he see. Kinda, he kind of reminds you of like a, a, think of like a pterodactyl, right? Big long arms, long legs, big strong body coming right at you. And I think, you know, just that was a great tape. But in what I was looking at, and you mentioned Giolito. So they're almost going to like a catcher, yeah. right? They come here and they're taking it right back there. He shortened it up a little bit. I wonder if Preller, when he was talking about there might be something a little bit more there, if they were thinking about maybe if we shorten him up a little bit more than what he was. It, it wasn't yeah. that much, but it was significant enough to where that breaking ball was sharp. But this is a guy who had a 116 ERA plus, just figured it out. He's still young. He's healthy. Uh, what a phenomenal addition to that rotation. Fourth starter, guys. And he was the opening day starter for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Now, I know the Pirates were not a very good team, but still, yeah. quite the honor. And now he's in that rotation. The Padres are off the charts.